The concept of fate in JoJo's is very different from other mangas, being a very predominant and ever-changing theme that spans the entirety of the JoJo's Psa Adventure series. While the concept of fate itself as a theme starts in part 1, Phantom Blood, with the idea that all members of the Joestar bloodline are destined to die at a young age, and in turn fight Dio and his minions, it continues in the series, for example with how fortune tellers plays a big role in multiple parts, to the idea that all stand users, no matter how powerful or weak, are being drawn to each other by fate, to how even in Diamond is Unbreakable, Hayato literally defeats fate in the Bice Dust arc, as the person who discovers Yoshikage Kira's identity is fated to die. The fifth installment of JoJo's, Golden Wind, is a bit special, as it takes this concept to another level, making it the main theme in the part, with the main cast being sleeping slaves to their own predetermined futures. All of these examples shows the evolving state of fate in JoJo's, however, Part 6 Stone Ocean truly is the culmination of how this theme changes and in many ways alternate the way we perceive fate in JoJo's entirely. During the main story of Stone Ocean, many characters are affected by the strings of fate, from Jolene being fated to fight Dio's followers for the sole reason that she is of Joestar blood, to Weather Report's fate of fighting his own brother repeating the events of Dio and Jonathan. Even Dragon's Dream, everyone's favorite fight, plays around with the concept of fate, as anyone who is targeted by Kenzo's technique is fated to be struck by it, making it impossible to evade. However, fate mainly plays a part in Stone Ocean, in Puchin Dio's plan to achieve heaven and the fate that is shown in their plan may only be conceived as nothing more than a predetermined future, as Dio's heaven plan of starting the universe again, but with everyone's fate predetermined, is truly the catalyst of fate in Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Pucci, during his conversation with Dio, states that gravity and fate are one and the same, and it was gravity that made Dio and himself meet in the first place. This is integral if you want to explain what fate in Jojo's is, since if gravity and fate truly are the same and Pucci is to be believed, the many previously unexplained phenomena will make more sense. For example, the idea that all stand users are being drawn to each other will have a scientific explanation, this being that everyone physically is being drawn to each other by gravity, without knowing it themselves of course. Even the predetermined futures of the main cast of Part 5 can be explained further using this theory. If gravity and fate are the same, and in a way operates at a level that only God has authority over, then both gravity and fate share a similar purpose in the ending of Stone Ocean, when Pucci ascends into godlike status and gains Made in Heaven. To better explain the way Pucci is able to control the fate of the universe, I first need to quickly go through the ability of Made in Heaven. You see, the stand in Made in Heaven operates by manipulating the gravitational pull of all things in the universe, accelerating the flow of time. You could say that it controls the fate of everyone and everything in the universe, as well as the universe itself, as by Pucci's word, gravity and fate are one and the same. And as the gravitational pull becomes stronger, every person in the world is pulled to their own fate. This gravitational effect continues into the universe itself resets and every person alive meets their own fate in the new world. This new universe will be exactly the same as the one before, except for the fact that all the living beings that are actually alive when the collapse itself takes place will return into the second cycle of life with full knowledge of their own futures. They will know of their own fate or predetermined future, so to speak. This is truly what fate culminates to into JoJo's, and is the heaven plan that Dio himself seeked. However, as Pucci is the one to control this power, his fate is completely open. There is no predestination for him, which is why this action is what leads him to his own downfall, and as such, fate is concluded in the main timeline of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Part 7 and 8 of course does not abandon this concept, and instead builds upon it as the backdrop for the other themes that fills the stories of Steel Ball Run and especially Jojoian, which definitely can make for interesting videos. However, in the main universe, fate is left off with the final page of Stone Ocean, showing the conclusion of Pucci's gravity equals fate theory.